Hey guys, welcome back. Now in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the revolute functions, right? How do you, how do you gonna create a revol revoluted surface, right? Using only answer, right? I'm not saying that using cat software or anything. Means how do you, how to create that one using answer. So let's see. So for that, we know that and so first we have to create a points, right? 3D points, then after we have to create a car. And from there, we have to create a water surface. So first we are going to import a CSV file for the revolute. This CSV file contains the coordinate points, uh, which is going to create a curve. And from there, we are going to create a surface. Right, by revolving that one. We know that it is really a bit, uh, bit fuzzy and difficult uh, treating the revolute surface in AMSA means it is a preprocessor, right? It is not a CAD software. But if you are in CAD software, then it will be so easy and you can manipulate that ones in your own way. But in here, it is very difficult to manipulate. So we are going to create a curves, right? So, um, sorry, we are going to create interpolated line, not polyline, in order to make much more aesthetic, uh, aesthetic model, right? After that, Okay, now uh, we have this one. This point is for the axis, right? Axis of rotations. And this one is for that revolving surface. Now we are going to revolve it using revolute options. Now, first, we need to do is to select a curve. Right? After selecting curves, we have to middle click the button of the mouse. Then, after, we have to select the two nodes for the revolving. Now, as it have revolved and created the surface as we can see from the preview so there is two way you can uh, edit this surface right using numerical m and other is to dragging the surface right means if you left click on this one left click right then you can just drag it right and you can see how much angle you uh, you want to make it right uh, do you want to make up to only 50 degree angle or do you want to make it up to 100 or 300 or 360 degree angle you can select that one right on your own way but you have to drag it and it will be very difficult to get the concise or your I mean precise uh, sorry for con saying concise i mean say i mean to say that precise right uh, precise value or precise um, surface so in that case you might want to use this numerical imp and from there you can just uh, put how much degree do you want to make it right up to how much degree do you want to make up to the 360 degree angle then just put our 360 degree over there and you can see the surface will be whole and complete now this always break option is for the for treating the break uh, break uh, break or over the surface like uh, if do you want to 
keep the single surface or do you want to create a partition in that surface too like uh, creating a cones uh, over some distance so that you will have multiple surface or just you want to create one single surface with single face uh, like as you wish right i will show you that ones too okay create a name double click on this one okay now we we have some problem over here means we are, we are, we are not able to create the same things as we have intended to so now we are going to create again a reflect surface right okay. so just take it back and now we are again going to create that ones loot select the curve and select the axis after selecting the axis okay we uh previously what mistake we have done is we there was an angle 45 degree angle means so it created the surface from 45 degree to 360 degree means 45 degree was removed now we are not going to do that mistake again so we are going to put 360 degree over here and if you want to create a break on the surface then you can just put select always break and select ok name this one double click now we have a full complete revolute surface right so as i have uh, i said to you that if you want to create a break then you have to select the break right so now let's see what happens if we don't select the break again go back select revolute select the axis Now deselect this break option. Okay, sorry. Reboot. Okay, turn the sixty degree angle and and in this time we are not going to select always break right okay then let's see how what happens at this time revolute surface double click and okay we are seeing no difference but actually uh, that is what happens right if you if you select a break then it will break the part into the multiple spaces but if you don't select um always break then it will just keep the surface single okay i hope that you enjoyed watching this video and if you want if you want to know more about answer and the answer commands and the properties and how to use uh, better how to use better then I think you must subscribe my channel so that you can get much more information.